this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video. And another video inside of Stampy's uh, lovely world. Today, in this video, I am going to be joined by... Oh, hello, Lee Bear. But where did you come from? Where, where were you hiding out? <laughs> and how long were you going to go and try and make me do that high-pitched note for? You disappeared again. I oh, know you're just doing a ring around the, the rosies. <laughs> Lee, Lee Bear, stop, stop running away from me because I need you. I need you for a very important mission. I think uh, that there might be spies watching us and uh, we need to give them the, the, the signal uh, that everything's okay uh, so they don't attack us. And the signal is me eating a cake. And so it's very, very, very important that you give me a cake right now, uh, because otherwise uh, all of the other uh, spies, and they're, they're ninjas, they're, they're ninja spies as well, uh, they're going to attack us unless they see the, uh, the signal, right? So they're watching us right now. I think Esther might be one of them, right? Esther, are you watching? Nom, 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 nom. There we go. We've given them the signal, so now they're not going to attack us. In fact, I think we should give them lots of the, the, the signal throughout the video just to make sure they never attack us again, okay? So you need to feed me lots and lots of cakes. That's the only reason... The only reason I want you to give me cakes is to do the signal to all of the ninja spies that are watching. Yeah, I can tell. You can look in Esther's eyes. You can tell she's secretly a ninja spy. <laughs> anyway, enough excuses about me trying to eat more cake. Let's go and uh, head over to the other uh, love garden then, shall we? And uh, let's announce who is the, uh, the brand new person uh, who I'm adding to it. And if you are new here, uh, then the Love Garden is a place where I add someone's name down in a sign and say thank you to them for some reason. And today, uh, I'm saying thank you for an amazing painting uh, that was sent to me uh, by Zoe M. And it's actually a, a watercolour painting, and you can see there's the Minecraft version of Stampy, uh, as well as the uh, uh, the more real-life version of Stampy. And there's Cake, of course, there's a Creeper, and uh, Duncan and Mittens as well. And uh, you can also see uh, a heart that looks like my Love Garden heart. So it's uh, kind of nice uh, that you ended up actually inside of my Love Garden. So uh, thank you so much uh, for uh, sending me the, uh, the picture, Zoe, and welcome to my love garden. Right then, Lee Bear, it is race time, and uh, today we're going to be racing in a different way, and uh, that is because we are having a fish race. And the way you have a fish race is that uh, you need to start off by catching a fish, okay? And then you need to make friends with a fish, and then you need to carry the fish friend all the way uh, to the doghouse. So the first person uh, to run into the doghouse with a freshly caught fish is going to be the winner of the race, okay? D does that make sense? It's a bit of a weird race, but it's nice uh, to be a little bit different. So uh, you can catch the, uh, the fish from uh, uh, wherever you want. And uh, so, yeah, I'm going to go three, two, one, and then we can begin the fish race. <laughs> right. Three, two, one. Go, 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 go. Right. Let's go. And uh, I'm going to do my fishing down here, I think. Here's a, a nice pond. I can't see any fish. Oh, no. Oh, no. Look. Look, it's being lifted up. Do you reckon that I got any chance of catching a fish when it's going up in the waterfall? I never even knew that even happened. <laughs> That's cool. Oh, look, I think it is. Look, I think it was kind of bobbing up and down. Let's see if I can catch a flying fish from the, uh, the very top uh, of the, uh, the waterfall. Let's see if that's even possible. I think there's a chance I might be able to. There might also be a chance I'm just going to fling it over my head. It looks like Lee Bear's trying to catch one from a lily pad. <laughs> I think he might be trying to, to catch a frog rather than a, rather than a fish. All right, let's forget that. I don't think the, uh, the waterfall uh, idea are uh, working so let's just go and uh, try and catch one from down here it looks like Lee Bear is having uh, as little luck as I am catching his fish. Come on, come on, bob under the water, bob under the water. Give me a fishy friend that I can go and uh, carry through the uh, the finish line. It looks like Lee Bear's trying to catch a flying fish over there with his <laughs> with his little uh, bob bouncing up and down up there. Come on, come on, bob down. Give me a fish. Give me a fish. I think I'm going to go back for the other uh, waterfall idea. It did look like. Uh, I would actually have a chance. And oh, there's Harriet. Can you see Harriet? Harriet's come to, to watch the, uh, the fishing competition. <laughs> she's decided to go and have a, a look over uh, proceedings. Hopefully, uh, she's going to be cheering me on rather than Lee Bear. And oh, oh no, is Lee Bear gone? Oh no, I think Lee Bear's gone. I think Lee Bear was able to, to get his fish already. Either that uh, or he's gone to, to go and try and go fishing uh, somewhere else. And oh, it's moving a little bit. 
I'm not actually sure if I have any chance of getting fish. Oh, I did, look! I did it! I got a fish from the, the waterfall. That's amazing. Right, fishy friend. I'm going to call you uh, Timothy, I think. You're going to be Timothy the fish, and uh, you can be my friend, and I'm going to carry you all the way to the doghouse, where hopefully uh, there's not going to, to be a Lee Bear waiting there already with uh, his fishy friend. Uh, let's see. Let's see if Lee Bear's in. I don't know if he got a fish uh, or not. Let's have a look around. I don't think he's in here, actually. No, he's not. Lee Bear isn't here. He still must be fishing uh, somewhere uh, around in my my lovely world, which means uh, I was the uh, the winner uh, of the uh, of the the fish race. And I would wait around here for Lee Bear, uh, but we do have uh, quite a lot of uh, things to to get done today. So I guess I might as well go ahead and uh, pick which dogs. And uh, as soon as Zoe drew uh, Duncan and Mittens, I think I'm going to go and take Duncan and uh, Mittens uh, with me uh, in uh, today's video. So uh, where is Duncan? Is Duncan up here? Hello. Duncan you can come and uh, join me in the video and you of course know what it means when I take Duncan it means that I am also uh, gonna be taking mittens Duncan's best friend uh, in all of the uh, the world uh, I'm a cat and I have friends uh, of with uh, that are lots of dogs and uh, Duncan also has a, a very special cat friend uh, who lives up here in her kitty cat condo and where where is mittens is she is she hanging out in her bedroom hello mittens what are, what are you doing are you playing hide and seek oh look mittens has got a, a little fishy friend uh, as well as us <laughs> right let's uh Let's all go and uh, jump down here in the uh, in the water, and uh, let's go and uh, carry on building uh, our firework workshop. So uh, basically, in the last episode, I pretty much uh, got everything done, and oh, Lee Bear! Oh, Lee Bear's still fishing. Are you not? You see, you're fishing on the ground, Lee Bear. You generally need to, to put it into the water. You have less chance of catching a fish <laughs> on the ground as you are in the water. Um, do, do you want to carry on fishing, or, or are you going to join me? Are you going to... Okay, that's good. See? That's good motivation. Even though he's finding it difficult, he's not giving up. And there we go! He was able to, to catch a fish. Come on, you've got to run to the uh, the doghouse yet. Yeah, you haven't finished the, the race yet. <laughs> you know you're not going to win, but you can still come in second place, which uh, is still good it's all about taking part there we go the race is over the race is now over <laughs> right then let's actually go and get some building done so yeah in the last episode i pretty much uh, got it all in a working order where there's just a, a few more things i need to add i basically had a bit of the trouble with the the water if you remember in the last episode i made a bit of a mess of it to be honest uh, but since then i have uh, sorted it out i basically had to like move one block uh, around and then it was all, all sorted pretty much so uh, it should be uh, all okay now so this is what it looks like at the moment i'm actually going to sit duncan and mittens down for now uh, just because uh, there's lots of water in here until i've covered up i don't want them uh, to have any accidents uh, so yeah what i needed to do uh, was that um pile of uh, glowstone there that um uh, path kind of i just moved that one block lower and uh, now it's all working fine so at the moment uh, there's water all over the floor and it looks like i have a bit of a, a plumbing leak uh, so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go and grab some of these uh, half stone slabs and i'm going to go and try and cover up uh, as much of this as we can so then that way uh, it's going to look like the uh, the floors just here and oh no oh no that that was too uh, that was too low down i can't do the half slabs there i think what i'm going to do then is i'm just going to do half slabs uh, all over the uh, the entire floor here and so then that way uh, the entire place uh, is just one block high because you can see i can put the the half slabs over there and then the water still runs fine underneath it uh, but um, yeah, we can uh, we can still walk all over the the place uh, without falling into to any of the the water. So I'm going to put a half slab down there as well, and I actually need uh, a few more never quartz. So let me go out here and uh, go and grab uh, some more of these. I've got some more blocks of quartz here, and I'm going to have to make some of them uh, into into half slabs as well. And I think there was some more in here as well. Yeah, there's a whole another stack in here as well. So uh, if I go inside here, and I'm actually going to place down some crafting tables. I think I'm going to put some uh, crafting tables up here. I think uh, so let me might, I might as well just put down uh, the ones that I'm actually going to make and uh, these are going to be the uh, the crafting tables that people can use uh, when they're um, uh, making all of their fireworks and I actually uh, want to, to go to, to bed as well because when we we're going to have a little fireworks display later and I want to make sure it's night time uh, when we have the uh, the fireworks display so uh, do we have any any wool still around here there we go uh, we still got loads of walls so I'm just going to make uh, a few beds for for now and so we can sleep on these and so that way we have one more full day building and then hopefully by the time it's becoming night uh, we'll be ready to have ourselves a, a little bit uh, of, a, of a fireworks display so let me go and uh, make myself uh, a couple beds and uh, we can camp out underneath the uh, the stars down here all four of us <laughs> and uh, then yeah in the morning i'm gonna get it finished off and then hopefully it'll be becoming night again and uh, we can go and uh, enjoy the uh, the fireworks display so uh, let's go and have a quick uh, sleep here 
It's quite a nice view, isn't it? Seeing the uh, the lighthouse all lit up and all of the, the stars. And now it's morning again immediately. And I can carry on building. So uh, let me go and uh, make some of these uh, blocks into to half slabs very quickly. And uh, Lee Bear, do you want to give me a little bit of a hand? If I go and throw you some of these um, uh, these half slabs, I'll just leave them by the uh, the front door. Sorry for uh, taking you away from your, your fishing practice. <laughs> and you can kind of cover all of the, the floor around here uh, in half slabs. And uh, then I'm going to go and I'm going to put some up here as well and uh, just make sure all of this uh, water is covered up uh, so no one gets soggy uh, when they're trying to make their fireworks I don't think uh, fireworks would work uh, very well uh, if they were they were all soggy so let's go and uh, fill in some blocks around here I guess this bit can uh, all be uh, raised here and I think I need to, to add in some more stairs as well here so let me go and uh, make uh, a few of these quartz stairs as well I love the look of these these quartz blocks actually I think they're uh, one of my my favorite slightly newer additions uh, to the uh, the Xbox version I think they uh, they do look really nice and really smart. So uh, well, actually, oh no, the stairs are down here actually. Uh, but I don't think I can put stairs there, or can I? I don't want to, to cover up what's underneath. Actually, no, I can put uh, stairs here. This won't uh, block off any of the, the water. And then I can put half slabs here like that. There we go. This is uh, looking pretty good now. And uh, then I can go and put um, I can put a block uh, a half slab there. I think, and then I can just go and put coloured wool there. So I need uh, one bit uh, of uh, purple wool uh, that I can put in there. And I think I need to add in some glass as well. So let me go and grab a bit of purple wool. And I'm going to grab this glass as well as this cobweb as well. And uh, you'll see why uh, in just one second. So I'm going to put the, the glass and that down there. And everything should be um, uh, all set up now so we can uh, make some fireworks. So uh, why don't I do that? Why don't I go and uh, make the uh, the first ever fireworks that have been made uh, in this uh, workshop? So uh, first I need to go and pick a color i am going to go for orange no surprise there <laughs> i'm gonna have a, a nice orange firework and uh, we also to make the firework star uh, we need some gunpowder uh, gunpowder and i'm also going to add an effect i'm going to add some glowstone uh, which would make it uh, nice and twinkly and uh, i also need to add some more gunpowder uh, as well as some paper uh, to actually uh, make it into a rocket so now i've pressed uh, all of these buttons uh, all of the uh, the materials uh, should be here we go uh, making their way down here so I can just go and uh, gather all of these uh, things up and then hopefully I can make what I need to. You kind of see them <laughs> flying through the, uh, the floor a little bit there. And here we go. I think I should have uh, pretty much grabbed everything I need. So I can now go and walk over to these crafting tables. And if I go to decorations, I can start off by making the, the star. And uh, so what I need to add in now is I'm going to add in the uh, the gunpowder. I only need one piece in, uh, the colour. And I'm also going to add the, the glowstone. So I'm going to have a small ball. It's going to be orange and it's going to be twinkly. Uh, so I can now go and take this. And if I now go back to the crafting table and go to make a rocket, uh, I can now... Uh, go and add in the the star uh, as well as the the gunpowder and the paper and i now have my very own rocket but now what i need is a uh, a place uh, to to test out the rockets so that's what i'm going to build now and while i'm doing that lee bear i want you to make as many fireworks as you can uh, so we can use them uh, in the uh, the fireworks display a little bit later on and while he's doing that I'm going to build a place to test out the fireworks. So there's going to be two different places. Uh, the first one uh, is going to be here. And I'm going to build some glass down like this and some glass up here. Kind of like a, a tube. And uh, that is where the uh, the firework uh, is going to be fired up from. And I also think I need to, to add some half slabs underneath here uh, so it all gets linked up. And oh, Duncan and Mittens, Duncan and Mittens, uh, you can go and roam free now. It should hopefully uh, be safe in here before uh, until we start setting off all the, the fireworks. And so, yeah, uh, the fireworks can go up this tube here and then they're going to be launched into this cobweb and uh, you can gather cobwebs by using a, a silk touch uh, shears or a sword uh, that's how you gather them up and uh, then if a fireworks goes into them it actually gets launched kind of in slow motion basically it looks like a normal firework but it goes kind of slow and actually i'm not gonna have the glass in the front i'm gonna leave it open so you can see it better but we'll also going to have a uh, another tunnel uh, right here also with glass uh, glass but then we're going to have a hole in the ceiling and uh, the reason for that hole is so that you can look up and uh, you can see what the other uh, firework looks like uh, when it blows up in the uh, in the sky so i'm going to go and grab a bit more glass uh, i had some smelting in this furnace here uh, so i'm going to go and grab some of this and i'm going to go and uh, put it on the the ceiling up here uh, so that way we can look up and uh, we can see uh, the uh, the firework blowing up in the uh, in the sky. So I think this first one I've made, I'm going to test in my little cobweb area. And uh, you'll see what I mean uh, by it blowing up in slow motion. So it will launch like normal.
normally and then the effect will kind of go out but really slowly doesn't that look cool so that's a little bit of a way uh, to test it. And uh, Lee Bear, if you have made uh, any fireworks, uh, you can launch one out of the, uh, the ceiling here uh, so I can go and check it out and uh, we can see what it looks like. Uh, basically, there's a quick test away uh, before you buy it so you can see uh, what they're, they're going to look like uh, launching into the sky. And I think this is a bit messy here as well. I think I should add uh, a few more steps. I think I need to add the steps in the floor. Oh, no, I can't uh, because that is going to be where the um uh yeah that's where all the water is if i did half slabs uh like this though and if i did these the entire way along uh, that would look cool no, i think i think lee bear launched it i think lee bear launched it i missed it <laughs> but i think lee bear launched one yeah so if you uh, lee if you keep going and try and make uh, as many fireworks as you can uh, you can test uh, a few of them off now but it's good to uh, to save all of them uh, because what the plan is now is to have a really big uh, fireworks display uh, to to celebrate uh, the uh, the finished um uh, the finished firework workshop well, i i need to start calling it what it's actually called it's going to be called the fire workshop so it's a little bit of a a little bit of a, a pun kind of well but more of a play on words uh, the fire workshop because it's fireworks and then it's a workshop as well <laughs> it kind of makes sense and so yeah i need this to be a half slab here like this and this looks a little bit better i think this looks a a little bit smarter now and i'm also going to add a um I think I'm going to add a little staircase down here uh, leading to, to this area. If I go and add in some stairs like that, uh, then that way uh, you can easily walk down and gather up all of your things. I don't want to get in your way, Lee Bear. Look at him go. He is trying to make <laughs> as many fireworks as he can. And so while he's doing that, I'm actually going to go upstairs and I'm going to set up uh, a way we can launch all of the, the fireworks. We're going to have a, an automated method uh, for them all being fired. So I've got some uh, dispensers here. And does some stone. Oh, actually, I've got an idea. We could put some dispensers down here. If I do this like that, and oh, I got stuck in the, the cobweb a bit there. <laughs> and if I do the same down here, and we added in some buttons, uh, then that way they could just place the, the fireworks in the dispensers, and then they can kind of stand back and press the, the buttons, uh, so then they should be able to, to see the fireworks uh, even better when they get launched. I think that's a good idea. That's a nice little addition. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to leave that there like that, and uh, now I'm going to go, for now, I'm just going to go and climb upstairs, and then uh, we can go and build uh, a little bit of a, um, a mechanism uh, for launching all of these fireworks. Because I what I want to do is make it so we can press a button and then the, the fireworks are going to be continually going off by themselves and then we can go and just watch the, uh, the display uh, from a little bit uh, further away uh, without having to, to keep setting off all of the, the fireworks uh, ourselves. So let me go and uh, jump up here. And all I need to do is I'm going to put a, a few of these dispensers uh, just face up like this. And then when you put the, the fireworks in and the uh, redstone signals get set to them, uh, they're all going to, to launch. So this is going to be uh, a really simple way uh, you can go and make your, your own fire display. And uh, what I'm also going to do is I'm going to come down here and I'm going to go and make myself some uh, redstone repeaters. And then that way... I can uh, delay the, the signal a bit uh, so that all the fireworks don't keep getting launched at the, the exact same time. It's all going to be a little bit spread out. So uh, to make the repeaters, all you need is a, a bunch of redstone torches and uh, then uh, some smooth stone as well. And uh, you can make some of these. I'm going to make uh, quite a lot of these, I think. Uh, let's make uh, pretty much as many as we can. There we go. We can make 15 uh, of those. Uh, this should be uh, enough uh, to kind of spread out the, uh, the signal a little bit. So let me go and uh, jump back upstairs. And all we need to do now is uh, link up uh, all of the um, uh, the repeaters uh, with the uh, the redstone and the the dispensers as well. So uh, let me go uh, here, and so the redstone's going to go into there, and I kind of need to avoid the the glass there a little bit. So I'm going to do some repeaters going like this, and uh, because I pull them back, it's going to de delay the the signal uh, even more. Uh, so I'm going to put a few of these ones here. And then I'm going to go this way and have some redstone going into that one. Uh, so that one's going to, to get launched as well. And then I'm going to go this way. I'm going to add a, a few more uh, repeaters back here as well, uh, just to, to slow down the, the signal a little bit. It doesn't matter too much what you do. It's not a, an exact science. I kind of want it to be a big, bright and crazy show anyway. So it doesn't matter too much. So I'm just going to add uh, some more redstone to there. And now I'm going to go this way. I put down uh, a few more repeaters down here. And then the last few I'm going to put on the, uh, the last little stretch down there. I can hear Lee Bear under underneath me going crazy with the, the dispensers <laughs> trying to uh, to have as many coming out as possible so let's go and to do that redstone going to there and then this last bit of redstone kind of needs to go around this way a bit once again i'm going to do a few more repeaters to to slow down the the signal and then this last one needs to go to here and it also needs to link up 
uh, with the, the rest of this track here. So uh, the signal's going to go into a circle round here and uh, go into to all of the, the dispensers and then kind of keep going around uh, just like this. Have I done too much redstone here? I have, look, I've made it go to the, the dispenser twice. I didn't need uh, to do that. There we go. It's all set up, uh, ready to be launched. So the final thing I need to do is that I need to, to add a button uh, which is going to launch all of the, the fireworks. We'll start them all off uh, in the, the first place. So if I just go and uh, I'll add in uh, one more extra block uh, up the, uh, the top here, I think. And then if I put a button on it, it should uh, set off the uh, the signal. So I can go and make myself a um, uh, a stone button. I'll just make a wooden button for now and put it there. And then we should be able to, yep, we can press it from down here. And this should uh, start the signal uh, just spinning around uh, in, a, in a circle. There we go. You can see it keeps light, uh, lighting up and going in a circle. Uh, so once there's uh, fireworks inside of these dispensers, uh, they'll all be launching up into the, uh, the sky. So let me go and uh, just stop it for now uh, so it doesn't start too early. And uh, yeah, once we've uh, filled it full of uh, fireworks, uh, we should be ready to go. So I guess what I should do now is go and uh, make some, some more fireworks. I've kind of left it all to, to leave there and uh, I've hardly made uh, any fireworks myself so let's go uh, back inside and uh, make uh, a few more of them looks like <laughs> you've got uh, quite a lot of uh, things waiting down here for you leave if you want to go and gather these up and uh, then um uh, then i'm going to go and make myself a fireworks let's make uh, i'm going to make uh, a blue one and then i need to go and get myself uh, a bunch of gunpowder i'm going to add more gunpowder this one to make it go higher and uh, i'm gonna i'm gonna add a diamond as well i'm not actually sure uh, what an effect uh, a diamond does and as uh, soon as this is a, a special occasion, uh, the launch of the uh, the new workshop, I think it's a, a good chance uh, to, to add a diamond. That's uh, so all I need to do is wait here, and then all of my materials uh, are coming to me. I might add uh, another little half slab down here as well. There we go, it looks a little bit better. And oh, actually, something else I need uh, to add. Before I make more fireworks, I haven't added a, a door in yet. <laughs> There's still no no door to the, the place. Uh, let's go, I'm going to make uh, an iron door. I think uh, an iron door will look better here as well. So let's go and uh, make uh, an iron door quick as well, and uh, some pressure plates uh, as well, so we can get in and out. I think that will make the uh, the place look a little bit better so uh, let's go and uh, add this in i just saw a um i saw a zombie hanging around outside and a creeper and i suddenly thought i don't want any googlies to get in i should probably uh, go and add a, a door in so there we go i can now gather up all of my things that came down here and uh, let's go and try and make ourselves uh, a few more fireworks shall we so uh, i'm going to start off by making the the fireworks star and oh i didn't get my my dye didn't come out actually let's go and uh, try and get some more blue dye there we go uh, that's coming out now you need uh, to have the the dye <laughs> and duncan are you getting all soggy down there sorry dogs are not allowed to make fireworks it's far too dangerous just for them there we go i was able to to get my lapis lazuli so i can now go and make myself a firework star so i'm gonna add um uh, that in here and then i'm gonna add the the diamond as well uh, of course the the gunpowder is needed and let's see what it makes what it makes a, it's gonna be a small blue one and it's gonna have a trail i think the diamond makes it have a trail well let's make it so it's gonna be slightly bigger oh no i, I don't think gunpowder makes it bigger maybe you need to add more dye to make it bigger possibly anyway uh, we've made the the star and then now let's go and do the fun part and make it into a, a rocket so if i go and put that there and uh, now add in some more gunpowder because uh, i put more in that's going to make it uh, go even higher you see it says flight duration two uh, you could actually have that going all the way up to, to three as well and so now i think i'm going to make i'll make one more firework and then we can go and uh, begin the the display so i'm going to have a uh, oh it didn't come out again if i think i keep pressing it there we go it came out now and uh, now i'm going to have a um I'm not sure what the, the feather does. So let's go and add whatever the uh, effect the, the feather does. I'm going to go and add, uh, add myself... Uh, I'm going to have three pieces of uh, gunpowder, I think, on this one. And uh, I, of course, need the, the paper as well uh, to make it into the uh, the rocket. And I think once we've made that one, uh, we can uh, begin the display. So, Lee Bear, do you want to, uh, to head onto the, the roof? And uh, if you spread out some of the uh, the rockets that you've made and uh, put them inside all of the uh, the dispensers, and then we should be ready uh, for the uh, the big grand finale and uh, my first ever fireworks display in my, my lovely world. Uh, so let me go and make my star first. And I'm going to add in my pink dye. I'm going to add in my gunpowder, of course, and my mystery feather, which is going to make it look like... Uh, it makes it into a burst. Ooh, that might look quite cool. And so I've now made that. And uh, now I need to go and make myself the uh, the rocket. And so I'm going to put my star in. And then I'm going to add three pieces of gunpowder, uh, which is going to make the uh, the duration uh, three, which means it's going to go really high, basically. And there we go. There are, there are my two contributions <laughs> to the, the fireworks display. I've added two rockets to it. Uh, yeah, and Lee Bear did the uh, the rest of them. And uh, now I need, to, I need to try and get to the, the roof somehow. Uh, Lee Bear, can you catch my rockets and put them in the dispenser? If I throw them up, can I? Oh, nearly. Let me do a big jump. Let me see if I can throw them up there. Hoop! 
Is that going to be good enough? Nope, I think I'm going to have to jump up a little bit here. Right, I'm going to throw them up to you, Lee Bear. I'm going to go one there. There we go. And the next one there. So you can go and spread them out in some of the uh, the dispensers. And then I'm going to go and try and find a, a good place uh, to, to view the fireworks. I think uh, over here uh, might be uh, quite nice. Uh, there are uh, a few googlies around, so we might have to uh, to deal with them first. There we go. Let's just knock him back. Come on, Duncan can go and finish him off. You can get him, Duncan. <laughs> I'm always scared uh, to attack them when uh, I know my dog's going after them, because uh, I don't want to, to accidentally hit my dogs. But Duncan uh, should do a, a good job uh, of uh, protecting me and dealing with googlies. And uh, whoa! I was just about to say uh, that Mittens would do a good job dealing with the uh, the creepers and scaring them off, but apparently not. <laughs> right, let's also go and uh, try and take out the, the witch, because uh, they could uh, cause some troubles. And uh, we should now uh, be ready. Oh, good idea, Lee Bear. The, the ninja spies could be watching. Right then, Lee, do you want to go and uh, do the, the honors? Uh, do you want to go and uh, press the uh, the button? And uh, we can begin the uh, the fireworks display. Uh, it's uh, a beautiful night for the uh, the display, and we're going to light up the, uh, the sky with colors. And let me just make sure there's no googlies. Uh, we seem to be uh, okay for now. Uh, so if Lee does a, a big jump and presses the uh, the button, uh, the firework uh, should uh, begin. And here we go. It's launched already. You can see there's stars and there's a purple one and a huge blue one. There's the pink one. Let's see if we can spot the ones I made. Whoa, I think that, I think that was a, a really high one there. I think that was one uh, which had three duration. And then there's a big star one as well. And there was a pink one. And there was another green star one down there. <laughs> this looks amazing. I can now say that my fire workshop is... Is now open to the public so we can all make beautiful firework displays just like that one absolutely amazing but sadly we have just about run out of time in this episode now in my next episode we are going to be playing a firework themed mini game uh, which should be good fun but for now i want to thank you all very much for watching and i will see you all later bye